What's happening guys? It's Mike here from Unique Mechanics and today I have something so so special, something so so dear to my heart. I am a huge fanatic of the Grand Cherokees. I'm a huge fanatic of Jeep and today I actually have the ability to review a 2016 SRT Knight. Grand Cherokee SRT Knight. This thing is so badass guys. Let's take a look at the sticker real quick. $65,000 plus. This will put you into this uh, vehicle. Plus with the additional uh, options that it has, you're looking at $76,000. Okay? I mean, this SRT8 is a 6.4 liter Hemi V8 engine. Oh my God. I cannot wait to take this thing for a quick spin just to really enjoy the roar just to really understand what this car is about. I mean, take a look at those Brembo pads. They are huge. The stopping power is incredible on this car because it will literally peel your head right back when you step on to the pedal. As you can see here, right in the front, we have the, uh, the collision control right in the front. Beautiful uh, uh, daytime running lights, as you can see here on majority of the uh, upper end Grand Cherokees, they all have the LED daytime running lights as well as we have gorgeous um, LEDs right on the bottom right there for the uh, for the kind of like daytime running as well as the fog lamps as well. I mean just take a look at this hood guys. Can you take a look at this hood? Look at that beautiful indentation. I'm going to show you guys the engine. We're going to look into the interior. You guys already know how we do these videos. We're going inside, we're going outside, we're going on the road. Oh my God, I am so excited about this car. This is truly, um, it's basically like a dream come true. Obviously, keyless entry. I just want to give you guys a quick overview of the interior, and then we're going to get really into it, and we're going to go for a quick test ride. Uh, Harman Kardon sound system. Take a look at these doors. I'm just going to shoot this video just in one shot. No editing. Well, a little bit, but we'll see. <laughs> Beautiful carbon fiber on the inside with a little bit of a uh, stainless trim. We got gorgeous interior uh, stitching, all done in white. Really nice door. Obviously, you have your uh, open and close here. You have your windows. You can auto lock the windows. This will regulate your um, your side view mirrors right here. Gorgeous emblem image of the SRT right in this really really nice leather. I mean, can you look at these bucket seats? These things are meant to hug you from the from the incredible speed that this car produces. Honestly, I'm just giving you guys a quick overview right inside here before I, I talk more about the uh, exterior and the interior. If you guys are familiar with the Grand Cherokees, you guys already know. There's really nothing too, too different from this Grand Cherokee compared to a Laredo or a Limited or a Summit, except for the fact that it's uh, one of the most powerful vehicles in the uh, in the Grand Cherokee lineup, in the G lineup. I mean, just look at the steering wheel. Look at the steering wheel. Look at the incredible, beautifully stitching. Look at the uh, the racing the racing modification done to the steering wheel. Incredible. Right here, you have your launch control. You have your different settings. You could go sport, track, snow, or tow. A lot of different options on there. You have your beautiful touch screen. Uh, that screen is kind of uh, not fully lit because I have the lights on up front. But let me go ahead and turn them off. As you can see here, we have that touch screen. It's pretty much standard on all the Grand Cherokees. But overall here, you can see we have beautifully padded um, top of the dash here with really nice, uh, nice leather fabric as well as white stitching all around. And also, this has the nice suede um, uh, headliner here. It's beautiful. And we have an enormous panoramic sunroof. Let me actually just take that down. Look at that thing. This thing is huge. It's so big. Alright, well I actually wanted it to open to continue to continue going back. Let's see if it'll open up for me. Actually, oh, see, I see. What you want to do is you want to click this and it will take it. No, really? There we go. So it actually has one and two. Beautiful panoramic sunroof. I mean, usually you see a panoramic sunroof in a, in some sort of like super, like kind of like luxury comfort car. But this is 
balls out the most incredible speed machine almost known to man. I mean, this thing, this thing can run head to head with the best of them. And it's got a beautiful panoramic sunroof. Um, so let's talk a little bit about, actually, before we go into the uh, inside one more time, I just want to go ahead and talk about the exterior. So it's got a, obviously it's got its uh, back tint. That's, uh, you know, that's understandable, that's great. Uh, but I love that on the more higher end Grand Cherokees, the entire panels here are not like a cheap small plastic like they usually are. It's a full piece. It really makes it look aggressive. I mean, this car just seems so freaking intense. In the back here, we have uh, the Jeep logo done in all black, the SRT logo done all in black. Obviously, guys, this is brought to you by Barbera. I'm going to link them down in the description area. And uh, you'll be able to click right into their live inventory. If you're interested in this car, make sure you click the link below. Make sure you give them a call. This car is obviously equipped with the uh, remote trunk space. So all you got to do is click this. It'll come down. That also has the ability to do it from the, the remote. Tons and tons of room here in, uh, in, the, in the trunk. I mean, that's one, another reason why I love... The Grand Cherokees. I mean, look at all that trunk space. Also, this car, obviously, to the uh, to how much it cost. You also have these stainless steel pieces right here. So if you're kind of putting luggage down, it could slide right across with ease. Sometimes it only comes with the felt. It's a little harder, but it's really not a big deal. This release right here, you push this down, you pull it up, and you have your uh, full size uh, spare tire. Let's go ahead and close the trunk because that's really not important. But maybe I'll open it again for you guys when I uh, when I take the remote. As you can see here, it just closes right up. And you can also do the same thing from inside. Look at those monster exhausts. Have you seen anything? I mean, oh my God, I'm so excited to just take this thing for a drive. You got also additional SRT emblemage right there. Uh, backup sensors all throughout. This thing is such a beast. I'm so excited and so happy to have the opportunity to uh, take this thing for a spin so grateful right now so these are a uh, beautiful 20 inch srt8 uh, srt rims with enormous brembo calipers brembo is really known for its high performance stopping power it is one of the best brake systems on the market so you know what i've given you guys plenty of the exterior uh overview let's go ahead and dive right into the interior let me just go ahead and tell you a little more about it actually before i step into the actual uh, front seat. Let's talk a little about the back seat. Extremely comfortable. It looks beautiful. I mean, I've, I have one of these. I don't have an SRT, but I have a Grand Cherokee, so I kind of have an idea what to expect. But I'll tell you something. This enormous panoramic roof, I love. I love it so much. Let me give you guys a uh, an overview from the back seat here. This is basically my POV, my point of view directly of what it looks like to be in the back seat. As you guys will notice, and I'll talk a little bit about that brand new shifter in the 2016 models. That's something to, that's just amazing. You know, I have a, I have a brand new 75th anniversary uh, 2016 Grand Cherokee, and it has the new shifter on it, and I love it, love it so much. So I, I wanna tell you guys right now, these seats are super, super comfortable here in the back, okay? Uh, the leather is really, really high quality, really soft. You have your uh, two vents right here in the back seat. You also have two USB controllers as well as two seat heaters in the back, which is awesome. You also have that carbon that I talked about in the front door all throughout here. So you have carbon all around all of the doors, okay? And that car uh, Harman Kardon system all throughout. Two speakers in the back here. We have two speakers that you can see there. There's one bottom one there and one in the uh, right at the top of the door there. I like how they have these little lights right here in the headliner. Really, really nice, man. This car is something special. All right, well, let me let me take you out of the back seat. Are you guys coming with me for this ride or what? Let's do this. All right, let's go ahead and take a seat in the front. I'm so, so excited. We're gonna rev the engine. We're gonna talk a little more about this. But first, you know what I wanna do? I'm gonna turn the car off for a second, okay? Let's go outside, and we're gonna do it properly. So, what I first wanna show you guys is this. 
This is the SRT8 key. I mean, SRT. I gotta stop saying SRT8 because there's no SRT8. It's an SRT, Grand Cherokee Jeep. 2016 Night Edition. This is the key. It's got the auto release right here. If the key was in here, this bottom part. And this is really it. So, what you can do from this key, you got your panic button. You have your auto start with the two. You see where the two is right there? That's an auto start. You have your open and close, and this is for the trunk. So, if I hit it twice right here, the trunk will go ahead and open automatically, as you can see right there. Unfortunately, I can't close it from the remote, but what I can, of course, do, I showed you guys earlier, you click that, and it closes right up. Now, I'm gonna run this uh, auto starter just a few times. What I wanna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go position myself right here by the exhaust, hopefully you can hear it, and I'm gonna hit this button right here for an auto start. Oh my God. That sound, let me get closer. Can you hear that? Wow. That is so special. That is so special. Oh my God. Again, as I mentioned to you guys, keyless entry. Okay, let's go ahead and turn it off one more time. Actually, just so you guys know, when you get into the car on, the, on any Jeep and you did auto start, the doors are actually closed, so you have to double tap the outside of the door when you're going when you're coming in. You have to have the key in your hand; it will let you in. Also, the car actually has to you have to hit this engine start button. Let me get close to it because it's really nice. Okay, um, you have to hit this one more time for the car to actually start. So let me actually turn that off. Okay, what I want to do is I'm going to put the key down and I'm going to hit the start engine and show you guys what that front looks like all right and as we kind of rev the engine I love revving that engine oh my god I love oh my god the digital dash is so freaking nice as you can see right there on the right we have the uh, fuel we have your um, the heat the hot and cold for the engine there's so many different uh, things that you could do inside here um, I mean on the Grand Cherokees if you guys see my previous videos obviously again hold on a second I want to talk about the steering wheel super comfortable. I'm a steering wheel guy There's nothing more important to a guy especially myself than driving with a really really nice comfortable steering wheel I mean look at these paddle shifters. They are meant for you to just go uh, To just pull that thing and just go nuts on it uh, I'm really really excited right now as you guys could probably tell Here's your phone. Okay, you pick it up you drop your call voice uh, recognition right here this little panel right here basically interacts with this middle part right here so if I click let's say I click uh, upward okay so inside it kind of gives you like diagnostics it kind of gives you uh, a lot of additional features you could do uh, messages you could do control your um, your radio you could control your trips you can control your fuel economy as you can see right there the ranges the averages the miles per gallon and so forth uh, if I crip if I click on this one this is an ad adaptive uh, cruise control if it's you know obviously you want to be traveling to uh, do it on uh, automatic automatic adaption to most road conditions so like you can click the option for do it automatically or you could do it otherwise if you click right here on the uh, SRT uh, option it basically you could do um, you could do lap times okay you could do all sorts of lap times you could reset it you know they have all different options and as you can see right up top here this was your last lap time this is what your best lap time is and so forth uh, going further we have additional options on the car this is like uh, the PSI tire pressures you also have the coolant temperature you have your uh, trans temperature oil temperature oil pressure and your battery and air intake temperature so many different engine torque engine power I mean there's so many freaking options on this thing that it is just out of control so let me just go ahead and put it back on miles per hour and leave it at that uh, let's talk a little bit about the this part right here which is the, one of the most important parts <clears throat> now since the recent uh, a lot of the recalls that have been happening on the uh, on the uh, shifters on the previous models everything from 2015 and back down it kind of was like a kind of bulky shifter that went this way uh, that had a lot of slippage that had a lot of issues when you would put it in the park sometimes it wouldn't recognize it or put it in neutral and there was a lot of lawsuits and so forth but 
man oh man so on my 2016 grand cherokee it has this brand new shifter and i'm so excited that it has it on this grand cherokee 2016 uh srt night this is <laughs> the one of the most smoothest i mean just look at this i wish you could feel how this thing feels okay if you guys aren't familiar basically we're in park now we have reverse when you throw it in reverse we have your backup camera right there then you could go down in neutral or drive if you wanted to go sports mode you could just throw that right over the s will light up and you could switch gears all throughout right here okay uh you could either do you could either do it that way let me just put that in, in park you can either do it that way or you could switch gears with these paddle shifters these paddle shifters are so freaking nice and comfortable they, they do feel a little cheap they're a little plasticky but overall the experience will not matter because this thing will just move and move forward uh, talking about what some of the options right here so let me actually just turn off that music here so this part right here this was uh, strictly for the uh, the cover for the panoramic sunroof here's your garage access so you can have different recordings for three separate garages and this for automatic vent auto open is so forth this is just to actually open the sunroof and just so you guys know only this first part opens up that back part does not uh, here these are just two lights so from here you could actually open the trunk as well as close there's actually an arrow pointing up and down here you have your sunglass thingy great and uh, obviously you have your on, on all the new 2016s on their mirrors they actually have this uh, if you guys could see it has, says assist as well as 911 this will uh, predetermine a geo, uh, geo targeted location for you you could get uh, you know um, assistance if there's ever some sort of issue if you guys are not familiar with this interior panel right here, this is the Uconnect screen. Beautifully done. I am a huge fan of this. You could go uh, FM stations. You could go. You could do your uh, XM. Here's your radio. If you click on media right here, this connects to your Bluetooth on your phone, so you can automatically stream Bluetooth uh, music directly into here. It's wonderful. Uh, the controls panel right here. You have heated steering wheel. You have your ventilated seats or you have your heated seats you can dim your mirror if you want also the passenger has vented seats which is uh, cooling or you have your heated seats also this car with the Uconnect you can actually download applications that will go directly onto here for example iHeartRadio or other applications such as so and you can have them on here you can click on climate climate is currently off I don't really want to turn it on because it just creates additional noise into my microphone and then um, it's no good um, also you have your navigation if you click on navigation you can click on view map where we are and so forth it will basically obviously you guys know what navigation is I could click on the phone option I don't want to pair my phone but all throughout here this is all the phone settings we could dial from here also a beautiful part about this within the Grand Cherokee you can actually click on uh, voice recognition and I could even make a text directly into from my phone to whoever else right from here well I uh, actually what I want to do now I'm gonna pop the hood we're gonna go take a look at what this car looks like underneath the hood and then we'll take this thing for a ride all right so this is the 6.4 liter Hemi V8 look at this thing look at this thing would you look at this thing <laughs> this thing is a monster look at this engine size this thing will literally if if i put i mean I, I don't even want to get into it i don't even want to get into it but i want you guys just to look at it real quick and let me go for a ride already because i'm really excited about that all right you guys had enough let's go for a ride all right this is just so freaking sick. Did I mention to you guys what this is right here, this launch control? So the launch control, basically, what you would do is with the launch control, all you do is you click it and the car literally just goes crazy. It basically, it's like a starting line. Oh my God. Oh, this thing is so sick. This thing is just so ridiculous. Oh my God. Driving this thing is just out of hand. 
I wish you guys were in here with me testing this thing out. This is an experience of a lifetime. I wish I had some exterior shots of this thing. I'm not going to be going anywhere crazy. I'm not going to be going too far. And I'm not going to be putting this thing to its uh, highest capacity. But I literally just wanted to take it a drive for you guys. Just to see how it feels. And I mean, I think I found my next car. Only if I had $74,000 to spend on the car, this would certainly be on my list. But unfortunately, th this is just not going to happen. Holy moly. Holy moly. Oh my god. The roar from this car is just silly. Oh my god, the way that it hugs the turns. I just want to let this thing loose so bad. This thing deserves for me to just go crazy on it. It deserves it. Here's what I'm going to do right now, guys. I'm gonna let you hear the engine real quick, okay? I'm gonna just position the car real quick, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna position my uh, my camera that is, and let's let's hear some uh, engine. I don't know how that came out, but I had a lot of fun doing it. Holy crap. All right, guys. This video went long enough. We're not doing some crazy speed tests, but I did take you for a test drive on the road. All I have to say is this was such a great experience. This is an A-plus car. If you have 74000 if you have 75000 if you have 80000 to spend on this kind of car, do it. Hit the link down below. Go to the website. Contact them. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be, you know, it, this is this is a very, very exciting car for anybody. I recommend it for everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Make sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe for the upcoming uh, car videos. There's going to be a lot of them. I want to show you guys what it looks like on the at night. Let's go ahead and go inside the car and take a look at what it looks like at night, all lit up. So as you can see here, the entire dash is all lit up. Beautifully done in digital and red, white and blue. And this is what the Uconnect looks like on the inside when it's dark too. And all these buttons light up as well.